Hey guys, sorry for being uh, absent for the past few months. This video is actually to show um, the text I've actually acquired for the past few months as well. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, firstly, I'd like to start off by telling you guys that this video is actually shot by the LG V10, so it's more of like a video quality test as well. Um, currently using the manual mode, uh, shooting 4K resolution, uh, 30 frames per second with the high bit rate. <clears throat> okay, first tech I actually recently acquired uh, it's a camera. The camera I actually acquired is uh, A6300 by Sony. So as you can see here, the A6300. The reason why I got this camera is firstly it's the APS-C size sensor in such a compact body. Another thing I like about this A6300 uh, over the A6000 is firstly because of its build quality as well, it feels much much premium in the hands. It's uh, made of um, mostly metal, I'd say. Okay, and I think it's also the low light quality is a lot better than the A6 A6000. Uh, why? It, in terms of focusing, it's a lot better. And and on top of that, it also so, uh, has less so, uh, noise as well in terms of uh, noise uh, quality quality. Another thing is also it has 4K video functions as well so in terms of video recording it looks so much better compared to the A6000. Uh, overall much sharper images, uh, I mean videos. Uh, overall much nicer quality. Another thing I like about this camera is also the weather sealing over the A6000 is a much better weather sealed uh, camera. So if you have um, maybe some drizzle or anything like that, you don't have to worry because it's weather seal. Okay. okay, so next up is my LG G5, which is my current daily driver for now. Uh, as you know previously, I'm actually using the LG G4 Duo. I can say the G5, overall it's a much nicer phone compared to the G4, the reason why. Okay. In terms of design, um, it's quite controversial, I'd say. Some people like the design, some don't. As for me, um, I'm actually quite enjoying the phone. As firstly, I'm actually grateful that I actually downsized the screen to 5.3 inch. Firstly, it feels much more uh, easier to hold in hand. Okay. Oops. Uh, another thing is also the battery life on this phone. This battery life is so much better compared to the LG G4. So, with the battery life on this phone, uh, and one thing to add on is also the fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor compared to any phones, it's uh, much different. You just have to tap, you don't even have to press the button, it straight away unlocks your phone, as you can see. You can see over here, battery life is really, really, very, very stunning. I have 4 hours screen on time, with a total of 16 hours usage. So, it quits to actually quite a good battery life, I would say. But as for the G4 at top, I only can go maybe uh, 11 hours single SIM. Same for this, single SIM as well, single SIM usage. Okay, and next thing I want to uh, emphasize is just the camera. The camera on this phone, uh, I would not say is uh, it's unique in some sense. So, as you can see, you can change to the main camera, the 60 megapixel camera with 3 axis optical image stabilizer. Secondary camera would be the the wide angle lens at 105 degrees. The main reason why I'm actually quite sad for the camera is the manual mode. As, uh, it has the normal manual mode for camera, but when it comes to video wise, the V10 is still much much better. It has a manual video, I can set so much things with it, I can do a lot of stuff with it. And so this is just a more simplified uh, camera. Another thing I have to add on about G5 is also the modular design. For the G5, thanks to it being modular, I can actually get things like the Cam Plus and also the Hi-Fi Plus. So the Hi-Fi Plus is very unique. Uh, the Hi-Fi Plus, what I'd say is unique. Firstly, you can actually work with your PC as well. As you can see, you can uh, connect the USB Type-C cable over here. It's a heaven jack at the bottom. You can use it as a deck amplifier as well. So to use the modular, uh, this uh, modular modules right just have to press over here pull it out as you can see this reveals the battery 
and you can actually remove the, the chin at the bottom. So let's say I look at uh, photography, right? You can actually put this cam plus over here. Simply just slot it in. As you can see, you can use it to take photos, videos, zoom in and zoom out. You can even launch the camera app. So it's a very good uh, device overall. Okay. On top of that, right, we also have things like the LG 360VR. 360VR over here. As you can see. 360 are uh, nice to consume contents like your 360 videos and also uh, 360 pictures if you have any. Um, it's very good coupled with the 360 uh, cam as well over here. As you can see. For 360 cam wise, the specs is actually a dual 30 megapixel camera with a two, 200 wide angle lens. So they actually stitch up to make a 16 megapixel uh, a resolution photo. So overall the quality is still much much nicer as well. Okay, so mainly overall I'd say I'm very happy and satisfied with the G5. Only drawbacks I'll say it's the manual video which is uh, not available. As you know the G and V series actually is quite different. So I blame them for that. Yeah. So next up uh, will be my wearables. So okay. Okay. So lastly, for the video wise, uh, I'll be actually showing you my wearables I'm currently using. Uh, these two wearables, I actually use them alternately. So firstly, I'll actually show you which is the Urban Two. The Urban Two, I actually just got it recently, and I actually quite enjoy it as well. Okay, for Urban 2 wise, I actually use it mainly for uh, more of a sporty occasions. I actually go for runs, uh, for long walks, and things like that. The reason why is because of the strap. The strap is actually uses a uh, utilize a uh, rubberized strap, more of like a silicone feeling. And on top of that, right, uh, this watch overall it packs a lot of features in it. You can actually put a SIM card, a nano SIM card, to be exact. And as you can see, there's a speaker over here. Uh, fun fact, you can actually sync your phone music to the watch and you can actually blast the music over here. Um, you also can uh, use this watch as a standalone phone because you can put the SIM card inside. And you also can connect your Bluetooth headset as well. Um, yeah. On top of that, in terms of battery life, I would say it's actually quite impressive. I can actually last uh, two days um, while connecting to a phone. Uh, without a SIM card, so I would say it's actually quite impressive uh, due to its uh, 500, uh, 570 mAh uh, capacity battery. So okay, next up, other than the Urban 2 would be the Urban 1. Uh, Urban 1 actually got this watch uh, quite a while back already. Been using it for maybe uh, 2 to 3 months uh, currently. On uh, first impression for the Urbane one, I would say it gives you more of um, I would say a classic looking design as you can see over here. So okay, for the Urbane one, as you can see, firstly it uses uh, leather straps rather than silicone. But plus point, these straps is actually uh, interchangeable compared to Urbane 2, it's actually uh, fixed because of the LTE band. So for this, uh, it actually gives you more um, Customizability where you can actually change to different straps, which is the main plus point. So okay, on top of that, um, the Urban One, as you can see, the main reason why I got the Urban One over other watches uh, during this period of time, uh, in terms of design, actually looks uh, much nicer. As you can see, I personally I got the Gold, um, and comparing to watches like the Zen Watch, um, the the Moto 360 uh, Alcatel watch, etc. And uh, in terms of the design wise, this actually captivated me a lot as well. Um, to summarize, I would say both watch are actually quite uh, quite a great um, I'll say investment because of the things you can actually do with it, like saying notification. Um, 
responding to uh, SMSs using quick text. Um, on top of that, you also can even uh, control your music play over here, which is quite useful in some sense. Uh, you don't have to always uh, take out your phone as well. Um, overall, I'd say I'm very happy with this, uh, these two purchases. Uh, me previously, I'm uh, more of a traditional watch guy. After I started using a smartwatch, uh, I can say I'm fully converted to a smartwatch, uh, smartwatch uh, user. Okay, I guess I have to end the video now because it's actually, get, uh, it's actually quite long. So, I hope you guys would enjoy this video and uh, hope you will actually um, like this video, subscribe and even uh, actually try to make more videos in the future and not to be uh, so, I'll say, uh, can't find a word for it, quite ghostly I would say. So I hope I'll actually come back with a new video uh, every week if that's possible or every two weeks. Uh, so have a nice day guys and goodbye and peace. Thank you.